Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go into the Pirates Grotto. I'm out of here. No wait. I must go in. I must face my fears and get the crystal star. So let's go and drop down. If you want to go back up, just use the springs. As you can see by that little bit of detailing there, this was the initial uh, layout of this place was to use ladders. At least that th that's what they're implying there, but the ladders are so uh, worn out that now they put springs in to replace them. So anyway, it leads deep into a cave full of water. And wait, what am I running from you for? You're a new enemy. I've got to tattle you. <laughs> oh, hammered the wrong way. Dang it. I panicked. Ah, fine, whatever. I'll just tattle away. Lava bubble. New enemy. That's a lava bubble. It's a flame spirit. Max HP is 6, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Its HP and attack power may be different from an ember's, but otherwise it's the same. Since it's made of fire, try not to touch it, cause it'll burn you. Apparently it's vulnerable to explosions and ice attacks, but if you get hit by a flame attack, you might catch fire, so guard well. Yeah, they're, I guess they're ever so slightly more difficult than the embers, because of their higher attack power, and they, they're still, it still takes two hits to take care of them, but otherwise their attacks are virtually the same overall. So, I mean, they're still a little bit tricky to guard against, and Goombella is quite useless <laughs> right now. I mean, let's be honest here. She attacks with direct head bonks. I... I'll use Bobbery, actually. I'll show off his bomb attacks. Oh, yeah. Mm, wait, actually, I'll swap and use him first, actually. Mm, watch the damage. Yeah! Five. And press the A button when he... Oh, just when he lands. And you'll do a stylish move. I failed to do it there. I was a little... little bit late. And I was a little bit... little bit early there. <laughs> oh, whatever. Battle was a success, anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put Goombella back out, just because I'm, I know there's gonna be more stuff to tattle. Look at that, look at that! Top of the screen. Let's climb up on the mast, carefully. I mean bow, pardon me. And shine sprite! Yeah! Oh! Star piece! And now, let's see what Goomba Goombella has to say about those spikes. Yikes, talk about unsteady footing. You could totally wipe out easily here. Oh, and watch out for those spikes that pop out, okay? They would probably hurt. At least they pop out with predictable timing. We can figure out a way across. Uh, am I trapped? Well, kind of. Ha 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 Okay, there's two ways you can, that you can get across this. One is the really slow way by going in between the spikes like that. The other way is much, much more efficient. Get on your faithful steed. <laughs> much, much faster. That's the method that I prefer personally. Because I'm impatient. <laughs> anyway, uh, wait, what? Isn't this the- yeah it is. Bullet Bell Room! Just rush all the way over to the right side as quickly as you possibly can and try and jump on them before they ram into you, otherwise their first strikes will do damage to you. Uh, that's pretty much their only means of attack here, and you'll see why. Because they're really easy to defeat. Uh, that's a Bullet Bell! It attacks after being shot from a Bill Blaster. Max HP is 2, attack is 4, defense is 1. See, 2 uh, HP. Very easy to defeat, even if it's defense is 1, because most of your attacks do 4 damage. Take care of it quickly or it'll bail into you. Mosh pit style! Use those action commands and take it out! So, yep, just wipe them out before they wipe you out here. No problem. They don't give you very much uh, star points because they're easy to defeat and there's an unlimited amount of them. You'll see right here. This is a Bill Blaster, if I recall. It's either Bill Blaster or Bill Cannon. They got relatively high defense there, so. You can't actually do damage to them just like so. Uh, That's a Bill Blaster! It's a cannon that shoots bullet bills! Max HP is 5, defense is 2, it doesn't attack directly, but shoots bullet bills at you. Is that a 
teleport and she didn't know it too, and you. <laughs> I know the bullet bills are annoying, but take out the bullet bill blaster first, trust me. Ah, how many of those things will shoot at us? You're so annoying! Uh, I'm gonna let it shoot out some, actually, so I'm gonna defend for the turn, just to burn some stuff. That's what it looks like when it shoots them out. Uh, no! No! No rock bombardment today. Uh, alright, I think I'm gonna play it smart and Earth Tremor this sucker. Well, these suckers into oblivion. Mm, okay, I should probably concentrate. <laughs> if I flub this up, I'm gonna take a pretty good chunk of damage. Mm, I guess gonna... Oh! Oh no! That's not good enough! That's not good enough! Um... I... Uh, that's not really... I'm gonna switch to Yoshter just in case. Alright... Hmm... I wonder if I should just like... I mean, I'm, I'm building up on items anyway. <laughs> that's probably what I should have done to begin with. You know, just to use up some of the items that I have here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get... Many, many more items anyway later on. And look at this, level up! Woohoo! Hey, I just said that, don't copy me. Uh, I think I'm gonna upgrade mm, badge points this time. Woo! As badges get more expensive, and I like to show off more badges as I go, I would like to have more badge points be able to use ye old badges here. Um, let's do, uh, uh, oh, I didn't show this whole description before, did I? Makes Mario damage proof when jumping on fire enemies, attack power against fire enemies increases by one, and attack drops by one. That sounds like a pretty handy badge to have in this place, don't you think? <laughs> uh, two FP are required to use this attack, which can confuse enemies if executed superbly. Wearing two of these requires more FP for the move, but enemies stay confused longer. Um... It could maybe handy, but I don't really think I need to show that. Oh, I didn't show uh, the sound effects Y. Or the B, for that matter. Oh, man. I'll just show them off as I go. <laughs> um, Sleepy Stump badge I haven't shown. I already showed the Power Smash. Um, I don't think I just... I uh, don't think I showed the Soft Stomp before. All right, let's do that and move on. All right, let's see what we have in this room. Whoops. Well, I guess I'll use her first, actually. Ooh, there is something in here. Good to know. But actually, what I want to do here is... I forgot to check this room with Goombella out of curiosity. There's a build blast. There's a build blaster at the end of this corridor. Too late! Seriously. Someone really wants to keep us out. You know what? Who cares? Can't stop us, suckers! Let's get more going, Mario! <laughs> Alright. I'm not gonna do this for every room, I just said she's got some interesting stuff to say in this place. We're inside Pirate's Grotto. Pirates must have built the bridges and slew skate here. There's also a waterfall flowing from above. Careful not to lose your footing. Yeah, that could be bad with the fish wandering around the waters. Um, actually, I don't think there's any anything on this lower area, but... There's actually two layers to this place. Like, there's something higher up from here. Anyway, there's a wind shear that raises the sluice gate, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, switch back to Goombella and... Oh! I forgot you exist here. You are a very special babam. Very special indeed. That is a... what is that? What is the name of that? I forgot. Bulky bob mm -hmm. I was thinking it was named something else, but I think it's a later bob that I was thinking of. That's why I didn't want to, That's why I didn't say the name, because I didn't want to spoil it. Anyway, that's a bulky bob I, it, I think it's like other bob but it's huge! Actually, you see a six, attack is two, defense is one. It's weird, it never attacks, but once its fuse is lit, it'll blow up on its own eventually. I don't mind it taking itself out of battle, but that explosion hurts us, too! Oh, and when it powers up, that attack power is 8, so watch out! Fire and explosions light as fuse, so I guess setting it off early is one strategy. You can run, too, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. Yeah, it will 
wipe you, well, not wipe you out, but will do a lot of damage to you pretty quickly if you let it stick around, so let's take care of it rather quickly, if at all possible. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do this in a, in a quick enough turns, actually, because after it lights its fuse, I think it raises its defense by three. Yep! It always seems to do that, and of course, once its defense is raised, it's kind of, kind of invincible. <laughs> well, aside from, you know, using defense penetrating moves, like say if I were to swap over to the Yoster. Oh, and I didn't show off any of the badges, did I? <laughs> well, that was a great use of time that I did there, now wasn't it? <laughs> you know, when I was swapping out badges there. I do that sort of stuff off camera, but then, but if I equip something and don't tell you that I, I equip something, it's like you you would end up confused. So I kind of like to do that sort of stuff on camera, if at all possible. Anyway, let's go back over to the Goombella. And hello, save block. Uh, you, know, you know what? I'm gonna battle you. I'm going to battle you. Because now I can show off some stuff. Wait, actually, wait, what? I thought... Oh, wait, that, that that's fine. I, I, I was thinking that ice badge that I equipped, it's, it makes me able to just simply uh, jump on enemies. I thought for some reason it was going to be um, a move. Uh, you know, you get what I'm saying here. I don't think it, you can do this with Goombella, though. Nope! It only works on Mario. <laughs> just I would try that. Just, just in case. Alright, so yeah, you can now jump on the flames. It's not all that special, I guess you can say, but, but it's, it's still pretty decent to have, I suppose, in certain circumstances, like um, first strikes outside of battle and whatnot. Um, Koops. Koops is a relatively safe safe way to attack these critters. Oh, 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 oh! Wait, what What the heck's going on here? Did that just make fog come up on the stage, or is that just a random diversion? I think that was just a random diversion, and the fog was uh, completely separate it's completely separate from that. Um, making enemies soft, I believe, reduces their uh, defense points. Yup. So it's not like uh, shrinking them, which reduces their attack points. Mm. Oh, pfft. Or at least my attacks worked in the fog. Woo. Oh yeah. Anyway, moving on here. Uh, I probably swap over to Goombella because there's always more enemies to tattle. It's only weird to walk around out here. I mean, pirates lived here. Scourge of the seas. I uh, wonder where their souls are wandering now. I think we just defeated one. <laughs> oh, shine sprite. This one's pretty easy to get. Just like that uh, jam and jelly invisible block. Shine sprites. Oh wait, you're new, aren't you? Yeah, I've I've battled other versions of you, but not this. Wait, what the heck? What what's taking so so long to load? I don't know. That was kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, let's tattle a parabuzzy. Yeah, the other ones with the spike top variety and the regular uh, para be um, <laughs> buzzy beetles. Excuse me. That's a parabuzzy. A buzzy beetle with wings. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. I guess those stats are just like a buzzy. Fire and explosions seem to have no effect, so don't bother, okay? Flip it over, its defense goes down to 0, so jump on it first. Yep, fire does not work just like the old NES game and, well, side scroller games in general. Definitely want to knock it out of the sky. And any jumping sort of move is effective against them because it, yeah, reduces their defense points. And, you know. Really ridiculous, ridiculously high defense points. Either you have to pick, uh, penetrate it, you know, with a, a defense-piercing move, or gonna have to uh, find ways around it with like items or something like that. You know the strategy by now. I don't know why I'm even bothering to explain it. <laughs> and it's over. Woo! Oh yeah. Okay, now things are loading nice and quick again. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Earthquake! Uh, I'm gonna go over to the Oster. 
Oh, wait, maybe I don't need to use the Oster for this jump. No, I don't. That's a easy, make, easy to make jump, actually. Uh, over here, switch. Bloop. Look at that. Well, that was kind of an uh, easy puzzle. Uh, um. Okay. I, I think I'll do that. Um. <laughs> okay. I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna stop right now. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. <laughs> Save your game. <laughs>